Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm using Silhouette Studio, the designer edition, to create a fancy Christmas themed decoration. Okay, I've imported from my library, I think it's a fairly standard shape, um, just a Christmas tree with a star on top. And this was inside, so I released the compound path, I ungrouped it, and I've just got the Christmas tree shape here. And what I'm going to do is make that a bit bigger so you can see it. Probably wouldn't use it that big normally, but you can see it easier. I've got a shape here which is simply a brush stroke that I imported from GIMP. I saved the brush stroke as a PNG, imported it into Studio, did a simple trace on it, and this is the trace line. So I'm going to fill it so you can actually see it a bit easier. And I'll make it green, there we go. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the replicate tool to make a row of four. Then I'm going to make a column of four. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to duplicate it below. There we are. And I'm going to take all of that. I'm going to duplicate it. I am going then to rotate the duplicate 45 degrees. There we are. Okay, now I'm going to select all of that lot. Make sure all your shapes are selected. Go to Modify and click on Weld. And it might take a little while to do it, but it should actually weld all those bits and pieces together that it can possibly weld. Got a couple of little stragglers there. That doesn't bother me. So I've got that piece. Just get rid of these. All right. So I have my decorative background. Put on my Christmas tree. Select it all. Now make sure you've got the line for your Christmas tree as well because otherwise it won't work. And then go to crop. There we go. Nicely cropped. Select it right click and group it because otherwise when you move it everything will move all over the place and that's not a good idea believe me been there done that not a good idea right now you see at the moment the christmas tree it's too small but all i'm gonna do is stretch that out a bit more of a stretch and I should get it to the size that I want it. There we go. Right now this one I'm going to put an offset onto. I want it sharp cornered not rounded and it's very very sensitive this control here. So I'm just going to put it down a bit, apply it, and then group it. Okay, and that I want to fill with a green as well. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I should have made these to a compound path first. Okay, let's ungroup I'm going to select the inner one, theoretically. I'm not sure if that's selected the inner or the outer. Never mind. Okay, it's an easy way around this to make sure I've done it. Okay. So I'm going to select these two here. Whoops. Getting things in here I don't want. And not getting things in here. I do want, hold on, let's go out a second. There we go. Right, select those two, and I want the alignment tool align in the center. There we go. 
and make a compound path. So now these two are a compound path and I can put my decoration bit in there. I can select my compound path and I can do my fill like so and then select everything there and go to group. There we go. We have a pretty little Christmas tree decoration. Now you may or may not want to cut out these bits so be careful when you actually go send it to the cutter that you ungroup and switch off any lines that you don't want to cut. Okay, because otherwise all that intricate cutting will be done on the inside. And what you probably want to do is either do a print and cut on this particular one or use the sketch pens on the inside and that would be quite pretty too. Okay, that's it. Very simple. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.